Hi, it's Sam here from samplelibreview.com. And today we're actually not going to be looking at samples for change, and instead temporarily shifting our focus to synth sound sets. We're going to be diving into the latest four sound sets for Zebra, Repo and Serum by The Unfinished. They encompass a whole variety of styles from delicate electronica to powerful and futuristic sounds. And for synth programming with a cinematic edge, they are really inspirational as feature sounds and also superbly useful as supportive elements. Now, to say that Matt Boulder, a.k.a. The Unfinished, has had a career-defining past 12 months is a little bit of an understatement. His ongoing commercial releases for UE Synths were complemented by featuring on not just one, but two of the biggest films of last year. The Unfinished worked with Hans Zimmer on synth programming and additional production for both A Time to Die and June. Very recently, we even saw him bless Serum with his synth chops at long last. There's plenty happening then, and since we haven't caught up with Matt's work for quite some time, a good nosy into his latest sound sets is long overdue. Refract, Structure and Alpha contain 150 patches for UE Zebra, Zebra Hans Zimmer, Repro 1, Repro 5, and Zephyr Records, Serum, respectively. Lazarus, Volume 3 and Lazarus, Volume 4, each have 180 patches for both Zebra and Zebra Hans Zimmer. Repo Structure includes NKS files. All the Zebra sound sets are available as a dark edition, which includes both the original and Zebra Hans Zimmer version. Various larger bundles are also available that include these preset packs. A full version of each synth is required to use any of these sounds. Lazarus Volumes 3 and 4 completes that huge Lazarus series that has focused on big, bold, energetic, dramatic sounds, especially inspired by modern scores and modern game soundtracks. Why all the stuff happening there on the mod wheel? We don't like that. With Zebra, we don't just get the module, we get these XYs which are really fully programmed on every patch. A little bit wild that one. We play with that filter.
having all that modulation going on at your fingertips really makes them supremely playable. I mean, that's just amazing, the different types of sound you can get just on one patch by playing with all these XY pads. Lovely pads as to be expected. A digital feel to that one. Skipped over these sound effects. And we skipped over these as well. It's just so much fun to play them. So now we are in Zebra Hans Zimmer, which is a bit of a, a darker, dirtier, more analog version of Zebra, where the Unfinished typically replicates the same presets, but kind of remixes them using some of the new filters, some of the special features of the dark Zebra engine. Now I'm going to have a look at Zebra Lazarus Volume 4 here, which continues the general thread of Volume 3. And it being energetic, big, bold, and computer game inspired to quite a large degree.
moving them around, it almost creates a new preset with a few moves. Bit of a digital FM type of thing going on here. Oh, I love that. What's it doing? What's it doing? Um, oh, don't crash on me. That's right. There we are. Right, oscillators. Thank you. Do you think the UE stuff just has the nicest reverbs? So used to using the XY on the zebras, I forget the mod wheel can do plenty as well. Here we go. It's got, I don't know, it just seems to have loads of emotion there. I don't know, it's, it's got a lot going for it. I like that. Really evocative of a dystopian sci-fi type of thingy.
sounds just so full. It's a huge sound, that. Here we are in Repro 1, and we're looking at structure, which is geared for that neoclassical type of genre that encompasses a whole lot of minimal techno influences and electronica, and done so well by the likes of John Hopkins and Oliver Arnold. I'll play a few patches for you. great stuff going on with the mod wheel there which is tied to various different things depending on what preset you select but it's always doing something Well, I think that's great about Reaper 1, that the unfinished really knows how to master is this sequencer here. It's only a monophonic synth, but you can do so much with it. These types of patches are really useful for keeping the music going and bubbling away underneath. It may be monophonic, but we can pull off a pad with it. Thank you. 
crazy stuff there. Really interesting. Structure spans two UE synths. We've got the Repro 1, the mono synth we've just had a look at, and also the polyphonic Repro 5, which is an emulation of the sequential circuits, Prophet 5. Now the keyboards, they're such a feature of this type of music, normally played with pianos or kind of juno type synths as well. So this is why I'm particularly interested in hearing what we've got on offer here. Nice kind of detuning. Now this one I really like. It's got a real little sparky noise thing on the attack, like we hear when some of the artists that do this genre so well might close mic the pianos and get that textural sound. That really comes across in the synth patch there, which is nicely done indeed. Well, we've got pads for days here. Absolutely lovely. They've got this really nice, broken, fragile quality to them, I like.
The synth sound and the leaves got a real haunting quality to them. Excellent sound set. And a long delay. Refract is a sound set for Zebra, and this one focuses especially on that frantic, percussive, frenetic, deep, distorted type of stuff. And it's far less intense in terms of the amount of leads and melodic items on offer and it's more about them supportive elements that can really make the difference between a cue working or not. Now, this is a rarity, a guitar preset. Now we're getting to the loops, and this is where I really think this sound set in particular has immense impact.
again, those XYs just bring so much life and movement to the sounds. No, that's not making any sound. Oh, here we go. There's far more in here in terms of sort of soundscapes, sound effects type sounds than we normally get with some of the other packs from the Unfinished. This is why I say it's more of a a toolkit rather than something you're going to find like the next best huge lead sound, for example. But these are really in short supply, at least in my own preset collection. nice sequences but there's one slight thing that annoys me on some of the pieces and that they just get really loud so that's kind of pretty much maxing out in pro tools for me especially when we start driving it up so something to be aware of with some of these patches you might have to just take the output down a little bit Of course, these XYs can all be modulated and automated, should I say, within your door. So if you get a particular kind of uh, movement that you like, you can easily record it on the XY to play back the same every time. <laughs> That's really cool, especially this rhythm as well. It subtly morphs the emphasis of the beat there. Really great things going on. And of course, this also comes in Zebra Hand Zimba version as well. Now, it's took him some time, but at last we have a sound set for Serum by The Unfinished. This one's called Alpha, and it's a beauty. Now, it's all about that meeting ground of EDM and the latest high-tech kind of scoring going on in Hollywood by the likes of Ludwig Göransson. So if you're a fan of Tenet or artists like Fotec, this is sure to get your juices flowing.
wonderful shifting wavetable thing. And also, it's worth pointing out, there's a few wavetables of um, the unfinished own included in here. And also, some skins. So I'll take you through them quickly. Unfinished Alpha. And bases are just ferocious. I think with this sort of stuff also it can be the less you play the better sometimes because a lot of the interest comes from the changing of the sound on a relatively simple part. Stick on there, thank you. Now what else we got? Ferocious, and I think it's time to change the skin. Go for a clean one there. Oops. Let's have a look at some drums. A really cool modern type of kick thing.
super modern pad sound that, really, really tasty. Sounds here are just so big. They're just huge, cinematic, Hollywood-esque type affairs. Oh, we've got more skin to look at as well. The racer. The only slight problem with the skin is that the little circles here kind of vanish. So if you want to move these, well, you, you still can. You just don't get a circle around it. You don't get a knob. Just a line. That's got the craziest kind of, like a shepherd tone thing. Feels like it's continuously going up. That's clever as hell. Outstanding. I love that. Hopefully we're going to see a lot more um, unfinished stuff for Serum. As soon as possible, please. And we'll just play a couple more to finish it off. Modern synth sounds for film, TV, computer games and electronic or artist projects the few to rival the unfinished at the moment. I find that many of his presets to be hugely inspirational during the compositional stage and they always have an uncanny way of playing nicely with more organic elements too. The four packs covered here all display plenty of subtle nuances, especially in repro structure, through to a head for really brutal and powerful sounds that are increasingly prominent in Hollywood blockbusters, as well demonstrated in Serum Alpha. And Matt does extensive walkthroughs of all these releases alongside some great composer demo tracks, so I really recommend checking those out to get a good idea about what to expect from each sound set. Please like, share and subscribe and let us know below what you thought of these sounds. And also get yourself over to the Sample Library Review website where there's a more in-depth written review of what I've been harping on about here. If you want to know a little bit more about how The Unfinished started, his process, his views on the emotional power of synth and the answer to the essential question of who would win, in a synth bar fight. Go to the website and check out our exclusive sample library review interview with the man himself.